It goes 100%. After weeks of watching it on YouTube, look at that body, it's so sexy. You excited? Yes! Do you know what's in the box? It's the one of the car. Are you certain? Yes! Are you excited? Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is your first time here. Consider uh, liking and subscribing if you're into like family shenanigans from traveling to just random family activities and unboxings of toys. I think you found a good one, so check us out. Today we will be unboxing the Arma Sentin V3. I guess that stands for version 3. This is a S3 BLX engine. I'm definitely a beginner trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about, but it's it's one of the highly recommended i guess if you want to get into rc cars and you don't want to like spend like a whole ton of money but you want to spend enough so that you're getting like something good you know something that could pretty much traverse through anything with ease and it has you know the speed that i need it's, it's fast enough for me and it's probably faster than i think it is all right so let's get started with the box this can push 50 miles per hour that's Whoa. really fast. <laughs> That's fast enough for me. So it's a uh, four-wheel drive, 3S right there, BLX, and it's RTR ready to run. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. I believe their latest model, and it features a stronger chassis. I don't know, I'm guessing like the, the previous versions were probably like breaking, so I'm glad they uh, improved upon that. Uh, let's open this bad boy up so I can pretend I know what's on the inside. Ready, here it goes. Gigantic. Yeah. That is actually larger than I thought it would be. I know that the measurements, I believe it's like 24 by something by something. This is humongous. This is like super large. Let's just open this bad boy up. Comes the gigantic. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. All right. So that's that bad boy in the box. It comes with things I don't know, but I definitely will be doing more research and I will be reading them instruction manual because yeah that's something you should do i know a lot of people don't like to do it myself included but when you're dealing with like a toy like this safety uh, instructions to keep like the kids safe i'm definitely gonna read this might be one of the first one i ever read because i want to make sure that it's able to perform at its max performance you know now we're about to take this plastic off it's so shiny and new It's finally here. Shout out to Amazon. I ordered it yesterday and it's here today. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks nice and clean. Check this out. Check this bad boy out, bruh. Bam. Look at that body. It's so sexy. Look at the look at the, the wheels are nice and big. I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about here. Hopefully I don't tip it over like right away. Just, you know. I know I'm gonna tip it, it over. Just comes with this remote. No, baby, the remote's in here. It's a giant remote. Boom. Here's the front. Here's the side, and here's the cheeks, or the back. Here's the bottom. This is the tougher, you know, chassis. I seen a video someone was doing a, a durability test on this thing. This thing was literally going like probably at least like two stories high and like just falling on all angles. And at the end of the video, there was no damage to it at all nothing was wrong with it maybe they don't know how to break a car maybe we might have to, sh have to show them how to do that i'm gonna take out the pins and we're gonna take a look inside bam okay oh no he's naked he's in the nude all right so this is what the inside looks like this appears to be the motor brushless motor there's a little fan right here like a computer processor you want to keep it cool so that's right there this i believe is what they call the esc this is pretty much what controls like turning and stuff like that. And this is what you plug in your battery, which this does not come with the battery. So keep that in mind. But yeah, this is what the inside looks like. You want that to be your most control. Bam, that bubbly. 
comes inside a bubble wrap. Oh, it's a bubble wrap. This is this what? Is, is, is this a lanyard? My hands are not that big, but oh, this, I can tell you, it's definitely comfortable. This has like a little like padding on the edge for turning. Oh, awesome, cool. So you can set it to how fast you want to go, like 50%, this first one, 75, and then 100. He doesn't look like that, but he, he's, he could drive. Oh. Like, if you race him, you, you never had your car, bro. <laughs> This is what the remote looks like up close. Ma'am. Can you side. do not the only setting? Oh, Requires four double A batteries. As we learn, as I learn how to do this, I'll probably make upgrades to it. You know, it could be like a nice, like a nice little project me and my son could do. Once I figure out what to get him. I'm looking into crawlers as well, because I feel like something like this is too fast for him. I'm pretty sure if I give him like big open space, like I said, he's a good driver. I think he can handle it. At least on like 50%. Will is... I might even get like one of those GPS the, speedometer trackers. Will is the button for the remote. Right here, this is a trigger. It's a and then this is like a turn right here. All right guys, so the batteries finally came in. So it's the it's Spectrum technology. Smart Technology Power Stage Battery Charger and Bundle. Let's open this up and find out what's in it. Bam, that's what's in it. What this bundle looks like. Oh yeah, you got the usual sus. You know? It's the instruction manual. This is what the battery looks like. This mug is, uh, this mug is quite large. So, this is the 5000 milliamp 50C LiPo battery at 11.1 .1 volts. Pretty much the best option, I think, for me, based on like just small amount of research that I did. And uh, yeah, I think this might be like the best option, at least for me in, in my research. So there's like a chip in here that will tell this, the actual charger. A lot of chargers for RC cars, you have to like manually enter like the amount of something, something, something. It's just a lot of manual things you need to do. But with the smart, system it's just like plugging in your iphone to your you know to your charger so you know i like it it's dumbed down for me because you know i'm a noob and i appreciate stuff like this with this converter so this will go in here you know this will connect in here like so bam and this will tell you how much charge you have and it's smart so whoa yeah i'm finally gonna charge this battery so that we can finally take that puppy out for a ride tomorrow. I'm talking about this puppy. <laughs> and that one too, if it behaves. Once again, the arm is sitting. Oh man. I shall first run ever of the arm is sitting. Let's see what it's about. You ready, JJ?
Are you having fun, my love? You having fun? Maybe just let it rest.